This is a demonstration on how to create an output parameter for a component. So here we have a blank screen one, or almost blank screen one here. And I've only added a component that I just created and then a label here. And on this label, I'm going to get a little bit of a border there so we can see it. All right, so I'm going to go over to components. So I created a simple component and it's got a label here that checks this radio uh, button, this radio control. And this is a simple radio control that's got the default two values, one and two. So if we clicked on uh, the default value, um, actually, it's not the default value I want to look at. I want to look at the items. So let's go find items. There we go. So it just says radio sample. So if I double click on radio sample and actually look at the values, it just has a value of one and two. OK, so this label here checks the selected text just like a drop down the control has selected text dot value and we're just going to check to see if it's one or not okay and that's what it does so uh, if i were to hold down alt and click on these values you see that it does change okay so that's good now what i did for this component was i went over here and i clicked on add a new custom property <clears throat> and i click on output primer uh output property it brings up this pin here and so I called it is one so it's going to be a boolean type it's going to be true false yes no it's going to be an output now only input properties will allow you to check this raise on reset so we just want to set this as an output because we want to know over here in the application if it's true or false so let me go ahead and run this and see that this one or two I click on this label now this label is not a part of this component here these are two separate things and what this does is it looks at so the uh this this control that i dropped over okay from custom you open up custom and you drop it down so you can have two different ones if you want the name of this one is is component one underscore one okay so that's what that is dot is one now that is one is the name of the property that i created so go over here okay now if i click on the is one this is where you can change this so what i'm doing is i'm checking this radio one dot selected text dot value equals one okay and it returns this little equal sign is an operator and it takes two values the value in front of and the value after and it will return a true or false value, okay? And as you can see, as I change it, it actually changes this value here. So this is how you expose a property from a component that you can use in your applications, okay? So if you wanted something you, uh, you know, show or hide based on that, so let's, let's just create a simple rectangle here. And, um, we could just make this and I'm just going to base it on this this value here. OK, so for this rectangle, I'll go down here visible. Change this. OK, so now the thing's only going to show up if it has one there. And notice it's actually separate than this other component. OK, because this rectangle and this label are referencing this component only and not this one. OK. All right. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.